In this video, you'll learn how to prepare a Hunter Pro-C P2C400 controller for operation. The Pro-C is a modular controller that allows for expansion of the station count and even the ability for two-wire control. We'll show you how to install station modules and a decoder module, wire a master valve and a pump start relay, connect the station wires of a Pro-C controller, and wire in a smart port. The Pro-C controller comes with a factory installed base module for up to four stations. You can further expand your system in increments of three, nine, or 16 stations using the PCM300, PCM900, or PCM1600 output modules. In total, a conventionally wired system can be expanded up to 23 stations. Additional modules are sold separately. The Pro-C controller is also compatible with the Hunter Easy Decoder System, EZDS, for hybrid conventional and two-wire operations. Add a Pro-C decoder module, PCDM, to enable control for up to 32 total stations. This system works with the same Hunter Easy one decoders used for Hunter ICC2, HCC, and HPC controllers. For more information and programming details, please refer to the PCDM guide on the Hunter Industries website. The Pro-C controller is designed with a simple to use power lock feature that ensures the modules are energized and firmly secured in the controller. The power lock can unlock or lock all modules at the same time by simply pushing the power lock slide. Slide the power lock into the power off or unlocked position. Insert the PCM modules into the appropriate sequential position in the controller cabinet. Here, we'll install a three station module in the second slot. Then, we'll install a nine station module in the top two slots. You can also place a 16 station module in the top two slots instead of the nine station module. There are stickers available with modules that you can place in the cabinet to help with identifying terminal positions. Once all the modules are in place, slide the power lock into the power on or locked position to energize and secure the modules in the controller. The Pro-C controller will automatically recognize the correct number of stations. Slide the power lock into the power off or unlocked position. If you're going to have more than four conventionally wired stations, insert a PCM300 module into the second slot. Install the PCDM output module in the last two station output slots. This module will fit and operate only in this position. There's also a sticker that comes with the PCDM that you can place in the controller to help identify the wire path and the programming ports. Once you have all the modules in position, slide the power lock in the power on or locked position to energize and secure the modules. The controller should automatically recognize the correct number of stations. Connecting the station wires is a simple task, but take care to organize the wiring compartment in a neat and orderly way. This will make service visits easier in the future. Route the valve wires between the control valve location and the controller. At the valves, attach a common wire to either solenoid wire of all valves. This is most commonly a white wire. Attach a separate control wire to the remaining wire of each valve. All wire splice connections should be done using waterproof connectors. Route the valve wires through the conduit and attach the conduit to one of the openings on the cabinet bottom. Strip one half inch, 13 millimeters of insulation from the ends of all wires. Secure the valve common wire to the common terminal. Attach all individual valve control wires to the appropriate station terminals. If you're going to use the Pro-C in a two wire system or in a hybrid situation with conventional wiring and a two wire control, follow these steps. Place the power lock in the power off position. In a hybrid situation with conventional wiring, insert the PCDM output module in the top two slots. 
score the outer jacket if using ID wire. Break the outer jacket at the score line and remove. Strip the insulation on the red and blue wires and attach the wires to the red and blue terminals on the PCDM output module. In a two-wire only situation, you'll leave the four station module that comes with the controller in place. Place the power lock in the power off position. Insert the PCDM output module in the top two slots. Strip the insulation on the red and blue wires and attach the wires to the red and blue terminals on the PCDM output module. Wiring a master valve. A master valve is used on some irrigation systems to keep the amount of pressurized mainline pipe to a minimum. It also provides a whole system shutoff when coupled with a flow shutoff device. Connect either wire from the master valve to the PMV terminal on the four station base module. The other wire is connected to the common wire with the other valves on the system. Wiring a pump start relay. Some irrigation systems require the use of a pump to provide enough pressure for optimal operation. In these instances, wiring in a pump start relay is required so that the pump is activated when needed. Route a wire pair from the pump relay into the controller housing. Strip the insulation from the ends of the wires. Connect the pump common wire to the common terminal slot and the remaining wire from the pump relay to the PMV terminal slot on the four station base module. The relay holding the current draw must not exceed 0.28A, 24VAC. Do not connect the controller directly to the pump. Damage to the controller will result. For more information on the installation of a pump start relay, visit the support page on the Hunter Industries website. Installing a smart port wiring harness. The Pro-C controller is compatible with Hunter remote controls. The smart port wiring harness, which is included with all Hunter remotes, allows for fast and easy use of these devices. Hunter remotes let you operate the system without walking back and forth to the controller. The smart port wiring harness can be installed directly on the cabinet via the side knockouts or on the electrical conduit connected to the controller. Attach the red wire to the screw terminal marked AC1. Attach the white wire to the screw terminal AC2. Attach the blue wire to the screw terminal REM. You can now attach a Hunter Roam remote receiver to the smart port for remote activation of the controller. Wiring the Pro-C controller properly is important for successful installation. Take your time and organize the wire compartment in a neat and orderly fashion to make future service easier. For detailed programming information, consult the owner's manual at hunterindustries.com.